Hello to the Nation Clue Adventure here, talking to you guys over a Domination game on launch. I believe I go 39-9 and nine in this game, and I'm going to, regardless of what happens, upload this, because I've already recorded it about 9 times already, and I don't want to record it like 12. So, anyway, guys, see? Oh my gosh, it's always in the takes where I I say I'm not going to do it again, and then the phone rings. It's It hasn't rung before, and for some reason it chooses to ring now. Anyway, guys, I have the uh, G11 Low Power Scope. I have Hardline Pro, Slow to Hand Pro, and um, uh, Tac Mask. Uh, again, I didn't have. I don't have Tac Mask Pro. Uh, I think I got it around level 50-ish, um, maybe level 49. Got Nova Gas, Frag, Claymore, obviously, uh, and yeah, uh, lots of people. I just want to go over this quick. Oh, and my kill streaks are Spy Plane, uh, Napalm Strike, and I don't know, Spy Plane Care Package, and Sentry Gun. And I just want to go over this quickly. Lots of people hate on the fact, and maybe I'm using Blackbird, I don't know. Um, I just want to address the fact that lots of people hate on people, or not hate on people, hate on the G11. <clears throat> and uh, G11 low power scope, or G11 variable zoom. And I'm just going to say right now, if you're using the G11 with no attachment, at least put a low power scope on there. Because not only does the hip fire is that of an SMG, so even if you are in close quarters, you can easily pick somebody off. But even with the low power scope in close to medium quarters, it's so good. Like I, I, I love this gun. I wish I didn't, I didn't uh, prestige. Or uh, maybe. Uh, I, I really just want to get up to fourteenth, uh, fifteenth, uh, or at least fourteenth prestige in order to uh, get my gold camos and get that like nice flashy animated uh, title. But yeah. Uh, yeah, but the G11, I don't see why people don't put attachments on it, it just, it, it escapes me. Um, uh, yeah, and I don't want to drain on that, because I know a lot of people don't like the G11 and think it's noob, but I don't think it's a noob gun, I don't see too many commentators buy it, and I don't see too many people complaining when that guy shoots him. Oh my god! Oh, oh, he, he got me with the G11, no, if he gets you with the G11, it's your own fault. It's a fucking G11. <laughs> uh, anyway, but, um... Also, uh, I want to address my kill streaks. Spy plane, care package, sentry gun, I believe. Um, and I want to talk to people. Most people, <clears throat> I got a couple PMs in, of uh, 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 on my last video of people telling me, "Oh my gosh, man, why are you telling people to use uh, napalm and attack helicopter? Those horrible kill streaks." And to them, I say, "Did you watch my last video? I completely addressed the fact that uh, I'm trying to teach people." how to play not just relying on their kill streaks, and I like that, see I capped it the very instant that I died, but uh, I want to try and teach people a style of playing and where they don't rely completely on their kill streaks, so they don't need to camp in a corner for the whole game and uh, wait for the one guy to come to them, and then when the game is like 10 kills away from being over in TDM or 160 or something, they finally get their chopper, or they finally get their blackbird, and then they just sit there, and then they never get their dogs and whatnot. So, basically, I, uh, the way I like to play, I don't like to play with uh, relying on my kill streaks to get me good scores. I like getting the scores myself with my gun. I just find it kind of boring uh, getting my, ch I get, uh, yeah, calling in a chopper gunner and just sitting up there and raining down on people. I don't find it as exciting and really as fair. Maybe I'll use some attack dogs sometimes, uh, but those usually just scramble spawns and cause people to camp in corners to wait for them and then kill them. So, I don't really like those too much either. Um, rolling Thunder I'm terrible with. Like, I, you can ask anybody on my friends list. I will use a Rolling Thunder and go across map, maybe get one or two kills. Maybe. Most of the time I don't usually hit anybody, even if I have like a spy plane up. I need a Blackbird to actually hit anything. But, um, yeah, so basically the reason why, like I explained, people are talking to me about why you teach people to use uh, low kill streaks. If you use high kill streaks, you can get insane scores. Uh, check out my gameplay with this or with that, and I did so good with it. Uh, the main reason is because it just promotes less camping. If you're using uh, napalm to push people spawns or attack helicopter to push people spawns, you're probably not going to be camping that whole game. And I got attack dogs, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, you're probably not going to be camping that whole game. Uh, 
because what you want to do is you want to get to the places where the people are going to be going. Also, on the other note, if you're not using these high kill streaks, you're not going to be worried about losing these high kill streaks. If you're on a 7 kill streak, obviously you're going to sit in a corner until you get your 8th. You don't want to run out and then you get hit by some guy that uh, has an AK-74U, a uh, rapid fire that for some reason is right behind you, or just noob tubes you cross map or something like that. And so that's the main reason. I just, personally, my style of play, I don't like doing that, so I don't want to teach other people to do that because it pisses me off. But uh, feel free if you want to use an attack helicopter that I can shoot down. If you want to use a napalm that uh, I can just walk around and legitimately beat you with a gunfight. Like, any any style that I tell tell people about or how to do is be beatable with... <coughs> uh, got a little double here with my dogs. Is beatable with good gun skill. And you have to have good gun skill in order to play, so or in order to do the uh, skill I'm and I don't know how I died right here. I got like seven bursts onto this guy, fucking gypsy, and yeah. So, uh, yeah. And I think I have a little I have a little theory here about care packages. If you call them in in the middle of battle, like in the middle of the battlefield with people around, I think you get something better, because I got an RCXD in this one, and then when I called it in the middle of the map, I got, oh, commando knife. Uh, I got attack dogs, which I think there's there's something going on here. But uh, yeah, so <clears throat> with kill streaks, I don't like people telling me, "Oh, why are you telling people to use these low kill streaks?" I use these high kill streaks, and I get them every game or something like that, uh, because I do say that you should be getting your kill streaks at least once a game. If you aren't getting your, if you're using Blackbird Chopper Gunner dogs, and you're not getting your dogs once a game, you shouldn't be using dogs. Or at least once every two games, maybe. If you just really like uh, using dogs and chopper gun and whatnot. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, I don't really want to dwell on that too much, but I just want to finish up with saying, um, I just like using these low kill streaks. They help me get better scores and better gameplay. I'd rather upload uh, a 30 and 10 or something of me using Spy Plane, Care Package, Attack Helicopter. Uh, where I'm rushing around the map, then upload 110. Like, I've gotten, while Nuketown 24 7 was up, I got 150s and 5s or something because I camped with a FAMAS inside one of the houses with Blackbird, or with Rolling Thunder, Chopper Gunner Dogs, and uh, I just kept on u getting through my kill streaks and going, going, going. And uh, it's not very interesting gameplay to watch. It's like, you're if you're an experienced Call of Duty player, you're looking at it like, I know this guy's going to get to his uh, Blackbird. I know, or his Rolling Thunder, I know after that he's going to get to his Chopper Gunner, and I know he's going to get to his dogs. It's not interesting to watch. Like, with this, you don't know if I'm watching for flankers, I have to do a whole bunch of stuff other than sit in a building and make sure some guy doesn't come up behind me. Uh, but that's basically it. I don't want to dwell on that. But uh, before the video ends, I just want to talk about it quickly. Uh, I really don't uh, <coughs> want... Yeah, I started that wrong. Um, I really want to make more videos uh, on my both channels, Knickknack Nation as well as Dr. PlayStation Nation. And for I will be doing making more videos soon, but in the immediate future, I probably won't be making any videos. Sorry about the ph phone ringing. Uh, maybe for the next week on Dr. PlayStation Nation, I won't be making any videos. I might make one. Uh, sorry, guys. I, I should upload the... Um, I should have uh, edited the new uh, Tomahawk Spots video, but... For one, we haven't gotten uh, requests for any new maps for that. Uh, we're thinking Hotel, because uh, PS3 just got uh, the new Tomahawk spots. So we're thinking Hotel or something of the sort. But, um, yeah, so basically, guys, so I'm sorry. It's just because uh, next this week, actually, we're doing CPTs, which is worth 10% of your mark. Uh, if you're in Canada and don't know what that is, basically, it's a, pro a huge project that combines all the stuff you've learned into... Uh, uh, combines all the stuff you've, lear you've learned over the semester into one project, and you get marked on it. Uh, as well as next week, I have exams which are with 20% of your mark. So, that kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> if uh, I'm making videos and I don't get the chance to study, and then I fail that. So, sorry about that, guys, but I think the Knickknack Nation channel will make maybe one video, maybe two. Uh, just to make it up to, uh, to that channel and all their subscribers if you're a subscriber over there because I haven't made it. And see, see, there, uh, G11 with a low power scope, you can still do good in close quarters combat. Look at this. 
Oh, I robbed. I almost got like an assassination, Halo style. Anyway, um, the game is coming to a closing right now. Uh, I think there's like five seconds left or something like that. Uh, there was actually the there's. Ironically enough, there was actually a host migration right there, and that's why the game ended. We all got kicked, just to tell you. So anyway, um, I'm Nicholas Vanovich, and that's been a retarded-ass host migration, rage quit, stupid commentary informing you on stuff like the G11 killstreaks and Canadian education system. Peace.